Good evening and welcome to Economic Forum, your weekly program where we discuss various issues related to the Zimbabwean economy. I'm your host, Cynthia Jikaramba. Today, we focus on the agricultural sector, paying particular attention to the dairy industry. Over the years, there has been a notable deficiency in milk production, which was a result of various challenges which include lack of proper dairy breeds, failure to access affordable stock feed, poor access to markets and related infrastructure, and limited access to investment funds, among others. To address these challenges, transforming Zimbabwe's dairy value chain for the future, TransDVC, was launched under the Zimbabwe Agricultural Growth Program, ZAGP, to improve the economic, social and environmental performance of the dairy value chain and also create an enabling environment for a sustainable and inclusive dairy sector. It is being spearheaded by We Effect in partnership with other stakeholders that include the Zimbabwe Association of Dairy Farmers, Zimbabwe Farmers Union, and Zimbabwe Dairy Industry Trust. The project assists dairy value chain players through a matching grant facility which is divided into four categories, namely Windows 1, 2, 3, and 4. Window 1 comprises large-scale farmers and large-scale processors. Window 2 consists of milk collection centers and small-scale processors. Window 3 is for small-scale farmers and Window 4 is for medium-scale farmers. In 2021, the TransDVC project managed to attain notable achievements despite all the challenges that include COVID-19. Recently, we effect met with stakeholders participating in this project for the 2021 annual review. So 2021 was a very difficult year because of COVID, but however we tried our best to actually achieve our milestones. We managed to increase milk production by 4% from 76.7 million litres to 79.6 million litres. So that was a 4% growth. Of course our target still remains at 120 and we are hoping this year we are targeting to, pro to produce 89 million litres or beyond. We did a lot of work on our heifers. Uh, the project intended to bring in 500 in cow heifers. We brought in 200 in 2020, and the balance of 300 came in uh, 2021. They, they were distributed to 290 beneficiaries, of which 55% um, were males and 45% women. We also did a lot of work on our matching grants. We managed to launch our daily strategic plan uh, that was launched in last year, end of last year. So now this is, gives the roadmap for the dairy sector from 2021 up to 2025. It falls well in line with the livestock growth plan which, which was in, initiated by the, by the government. We managed also to give money to AgLabs, which is our, our lab that is going to look at um, analyzing water, soil, milk, uh, for our farmers, so we, we give them we give them forty six thousand uh, USD US dollars, so that they are able to 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 actually run efficiently and effectively. In twenty twenty one, uh, we received uh, about one point two million euro for the year, uh, where we uh, used the bulk of the funds towards the procurement of productive assets uh, for the farmers. Uh, we managed to uh, procure five uh, 40,000 euro uh, window one assets uh, earmarked for the large scale uh, milk uh, uh, producers and uh, under window two we managed to procure for 10 assets and under window three we managed to uh, procure for 65 uh, small scale farmers uh, for assets then under window four we managed to procure for eight uh, medium scale uh, milk uh, farmers uh, for productive assets. So the matching grant facility, you will see that it's, it's, it's an exciting uh, facility for the farmers uh, because uh, it actually ensures sustainability. Last year we achieved one of our key milestones in the project and we launched the daily strategic plan, a plan which is running from 2021 to 2025. The key components in the dairy strategic plan include increasing the dairy breeds in the country through importation of further um, dairy heifers, 
following the 500 heifers which were imported in the trans dvc project there is also a plan to also increase artificial insemination and another key uh, component is increasing farm efficiency uh, in the dairy value chain a component which has been laid out in the strategic plan which include uh, research uh, training and also capital for farmers to also access uh, capital to buy productive assets. Trans DVZ project is also promoting green energy amongst dairy farmers. And this is being promoted through the use of biogas and solar energy. And we are also working on an incentive whereby we would have farmers transporting their milk using electric tricycles. In this way, we would have very cheap transport um, for our smallholder farmers, which has been quite a challenge for them to get their milk at a quick time to the market. From the MND side, um, it's quite indicative that um, the project is on course. Uh, we have achieved um, over 95% uh, of those milestones that we dedicated ourselves um, to um, achieve. So, key things to note. Um, uh, that um, we actually faring so well in terms of our social indicators, uh, our economic uh, indicators, and also our environmental indicators. Suffice to mention that I mean the dairy sector um, had existing MND systems, but uh, you know people had been using them in a different way, interpreting data differently, and stuff like that. So we had to then to create what we call a performance monitoring, a framework where to aggregate all the indicators necessary to to measure, bring everything together, and have one or what we can call a, a central repository whereby you know our producers our processors and everyone else uh, all interested uh, uh, parties can just log on the system then see and measure the performance of uh, of uh, the, the the industry in terms of uh, net incomes uh, we have seen uh, for the small scale um, farmers uh, doubling our net income from uh, the seventy three dollars um, in uh, twenty nineteen and to double that figure in twenty twenty one we take a short break join us in the second segment of economic forum Welcome to the second segment of Economic Forum where we are looking at the performance of the dairy sector in 2021. With efforts to improve milk production in the country, various stakeholders under the TransDVC banner offered training to players in the dairy industry during the year 2021. We have been monitoring uh, farmers uh, who are practicing dairy. Uh, we are trying to increase the milk uh, volume in Zimbabwe. And farmers had uh, a lot of limitations, which included the uh, lack of uh, you know, technical uh, advisory services under dairy, uh, which needs someone who is mainly uh, experienced. So that is uh, what we are providing to the farmers. And we also offer uh, trainings to dairy farmers, which include uh, fodder production. Uh, as you know, that the main uh, base of dairy farming uh, is uh, fodder production. We are also uh, training farmers uh, on calf management. We are trying to reduce uh, calf mortality. Uh, it has been above 5% in most cases under the small scale uh, farmers, but we have managed to reduce calf mortality to about uh, 3%, which is quite a, a good achievement as well. In the year 2021, 20, we also facilitated uh, a dairy breeding program where we have uh, trained 96 uh, artificial insemination technicians. And these technicians are carrying out uh, artificial insemination in all our project districts. Then as ZADF extension, we also facilitated business development trainings amongst our farmers, as well as facilitated business development trainings for the milk collection centers in order for them to take their enterprises 
as business. Trans TVC is also with its efforts to double milk production. Uh, we also is also supporting uh, production of quality safe milk. Uh, we, we, as we are seeing a reg regional integration, we need to be competitive in terms of our, the quality of products which we are producing, so that we be able to compete with other regional markets as well as international markets, so that we are able also to export our excess milk uh, when we reach our targets uh, as the project is uh, targeting to to achieve. Uh, in 2021, uh, as dairy service we managed to train uh, drivers, that those are the truck drivers that carry milk to different uh, uh, processors ar around the country. They collect from producers and also they, uh, uh, they deliver to different processors. We managed to train them for proficiency. We also managed to train uh, te technical people who work in the lab for proficiency and uh, we, we, we do hope by that, we, we, we have a standard way of doing things that is uh, from government side to processor side. Then we also uh, managed to do artificial insemination in various regions uh, across the country. And uh, so far we have managed to inseminate just above uh, 750 animals uh, using conventional and sexed semen in all the regions uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, and this is facilitated uh, by uh, this trans project. Researches were also conducted to improve on dairy-related issues such as milk pricing and dairy extension services. In 2021, we've come up with two research uh, papers, uh, one on standardization of pricing and the other one on uh, the role of extension in dairy uh, production and marketing. So, uh, researches have been done with uh, hired consultants. The research was, however, hindered by COVID regulations where the consultants couldn't really reach out to as much farmers as we would like. But really, we, we did well fairly well because um, we managed to get uh, information that really helped us to to improve the, raw, the extension services. We need specialized spe extension services for dairy. Uh, the curriculum has been reviewed f uh, at agricultural colleges where the extension officers are trained. So we are happy that uh, dairy is a Data inclusion in the curriculum is improving so that our extension officer can really be equipped to help our daily farmers. The project also encouraged the participation of women and youth so as to create an inclusive dairy sector. Under the women desk, we managed to train more than 400 gender and youth champions. The main focus of the project is to enhance participation of women and youth in the dairy value chain. So as a result, the champion's role is to mobilize fellow youth, mobilize fellow women. To date, out of uh, 414 gen gender champions which were trained, more than 62% are male champions because gender issues usually are being seen as solely women issues. So under the TransDVC project, we are trying to demystify the issue of gender as solely women. To date, uh, we have also more than 127 women we have also benefited from the HAFA distribution scheme and also the productive assets schemes. And also, we also have youth. We have also benefited from various matching grant schemes. Dairy farmers appreciated the efforts being made by the TransDVC project as well as the government in capacitating them in various aspects of milk production. As the dairy farmers, we are aesthetic for all the work that was done in 2021, for all the training, the capacitation that came through the Matching Grants facility. I believe there were different windows which will make a difference in promoting the growth of the dairy, um, the dairy production in Zimbabwe. We would also like to take this opportunity to thank the government of Zimbabwe for the support under the command silage as well as the presidential inputs that were also given to the dairy farmers in Zimbabwe. This is definitely contributing to the reducing the cost of the dairy feeding, which affects the amount of production of milk in the country. In 2021, 
we were working under the COVID-19 um, restrictions as well as the empowerment that we got in the dairy industry to support the dairy value chain. We did not lose any milk in terms of milk production at farm level or milk transportation or even during our processing um, aspects because we had full support right across, especially from our government, where we ensured that wherever we needed exemptions, we got them to ensure that feed goes to the farmers, inputs go through to the farmers, and the milk goes to the processors, as well as our dairy regulator. They continue to support us, so the milk testing aspects were all covered in 2021. I would like to appreciate the impact the project, the Trans TV project, has brought about to our internal savings and learning groups among the communities. It's a project, it's a concept that's taking our farmers at greater heights. They are now able to save and contribute toward the assets that they want in the dairy project. Of, of interest in, among the ISOs that uh, there have been a lot of uh, poor record keeping. So the project also assisted the groups in providing them with proper books for recording their transactions. So we see there's a lot of vibrance that is taking uh, place among our um, internal savings and lending groups. The groups also they have uh, attempted to go into other entrepreneurial activities to boost their income as they strive to go into dairy. For more on the dairy industry, please join us after the break. Welcome to the third and final segment of Economic Forum. Our focus tonight is on the dairy sector in Zimbabwe. With an increased number of achievements in 2021, stakeholders in the dairy industry are looking forward to achieve more milestones in 2022. So uh, as we get into the year 2022, I see us uh, taking from where we left because we still have quite a lot of procurements to do as this is the final year of implementation. So we are going to see in 2022 making major procurements uh, under window one of uh, the eight, eight slots that are left. Then under window three, we are going to expedite our procurement process by procuring for 350 uh, farmers, uh, small scale farm, dairy farmers, uh, for the assets uh, that they are going to, to use at their farms. Uh, most of the farmers, under, especially under window three, they are small scale farmers. So uh, these assets are going to enhance their milk production in terms of making it easy for them especially in their feed production. What we were looking for, uh, uh, look forward to in 2022, uh, we hope, uh, as we started also in a uh, positive agricultural season, uh, we hope the, we hope we'll be able to to have uh, sufficient uh, uh, feed for the animals as well as have uh, enough uh, uh, f f resources for the farmers in terms of financial support from the project as well as from other um, uh, financial linkages which the project is trying to, to assist the farmers and the stakeholders with. Our focus is now on following up on the success stories as well as monitoring and evaluation of the project impact, looking at the various aspects which we have been covering, looking at the impact of the trainings which we have provided, the animals which we distributed amongst our farmers, the lobby and advocacy efforts, as well as the governance trainings which we have provided. That's the major focus for us as the ADF this coming 2022. Uh, as delivery services, uh, we are uh, to to do an, ex an, an extensive and intensive uh, uh, breeding program uh, through uh, the help of other partners. Uh, that is where we have uh, uh, semen straw at hand that needs to, to be used to inseminate the cows, uh, I would say, around the country. And uh, we are basically targeting around 4,000 animals. We also aim to train more and more farmers in, in uh, clean milk production. Um, and we also aim to 
to, to have uh, the technical people who work in the dairy industry capacitated to do the testing. We also aim to do more of the testing in terms of uh, raw milk grading to, to meet uh, what the, the, our targets are uh, in 2022. We are revitalizing the dairy strategic platform. We would have all dairy actors, that is the feed manufacturers, processors, uh, farmer associations. Uh, we'll be also looking, um, also including the transporters, all of the actors in the value chain sitting in one room to then implement this strategy um, and operationalize all that was said to address the challenges in the value chain. So as the dairy farmers in Zimbabwe, we are looking forward that in 2022, we will not have the absence of milk on the shelf like we experienced last year. But we are continually believing that with all the effort that the dairy farmers in Zimbabwe are making, we will ensure that we do have a smooth flow of our dairy value chain and we are always capacitated by our government and our parent ministry. And we believe that in 2022, we should be able to have the desired um, increase in milk production and our estimate of 90 million liters for this year would be achievable. In 2022 we are looking ahead to a very fruitful and good year. Yes, we have had cases of Omicron coming up but uh, it has not been so much of a disturbance as um, when the uh, COVID-19 actually set in. So yeah, we, there are challenges but this time around at least we can still interact somehow with the small groups here and there. In 2022 our intention is to resuscitate the dairy multi-stakeholder platform. So our first multi-stakeholder platform meeting will be in March where our mo the biggest intention is to try and operationalize our dairy strategic plan and also to review the Dairy Act. The Dairy Act was last reviewed many many years ago and we're going to realign it um, this year. Basing on the determination and enthusiasm demonstrated by farmers and other players in the dairy sector, Zimbabwe is set to revert to its yesteryear status of top milk producer in the region. More milk products on the table, better health for all of us. That's all we had for you on tonight's episode of Economic Forum. For your views and comments, do not hesitate to contact us on the details appearing on your screen. From me, Cynthia Shikaramba, and the crew behind the scenes, happy viewing.